Good morning. This is Paul with What Plant Is That Paul? Today we're going to talk about tropical milkweed and monarch butterflies and how if you live in Southern California you should not grow this variety. Um, there's over a hundred varieties of milkweed but this one is called tropical milkweed or I think they call it blood flower or Mexican milkweed is really popular in like all the nurseries to purchase nearby which is really sad because uh, it's called Alespius carsacopica, I think it's called. Um, but man, uh, these are this is the first uncool plant we've ever done because the main problem with this is that basically it will host a pest called OE, and we'll put more information about it. I'm not going to try to say it, but basically it like puts spores onto the plant, and then the caterpillar eats it, and it deforms the leaves, and the caterpillar cannot thrive. Um, and they can't fly far and so basically the uh, the best way I could describe this problem which is really bad in Florida Texas and now it's even worse in California is that <clears throat> this variety of milkweed does not uh, die off it's October it's blooming right now and so basically monarchs will just uh, get lazy and not f migrate and so that when they get this pest they, they can't fly and they're weaker and it's really really bad for the monarchs so um, from what I hear it's worse than ever and um, it's gonna just really decimate the monarch population if we as gardeners don't become more responsible. So I'm, I'm upset about do, having this happen. There were four caterpillars now there's one um, and as soon as they're all gone I'm gonna pull these plants out. Um, you can if you feel the need that you have to have this plant for some reason uh, which I do not recommend. Uh, you can grow it indoors, and if you must grow it outdoors, uh, you cut it down to the base, like right here, at the very bottom, <clears throat> at about September. And so it will grow back, I assure you, um, and it will look better than this one now. But man, I feel upset. You know, I contributed to this problem of the monarchs, um, and it makes me kind of bummed. So there's two different varieties. This is the more the blood flower they call it, or orange milkweed I think they call it. You can see, it's very beautiful. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my part, and I trust me, I made sure there were no bugs, <coughs> or sorry, no caterpillars on this plant, but I'm gonna remove it. <coughs> I'm gonna plant something better than in this section, I'll probably have some succulents or something. Like that, look at that, that's Aeonium Berry Nice. I love that thing, it's so cool. But anyways, I'm not gonna pull this one out right away because I gotta respect this little guy. So again, if you really, really care about these guys, like I do, monarchs are amazing plants, um, get some native milkweed that grows in your area and just be more uh, conscious of that. I'll put in some links to find milkweed that's native in your area, as well as more information on this topic at hand. So please do your part and plant cool plants, but plants that don't affect uh, ecosystems. All right, there you go. Have a great day. Give us a like and a subscribe. Whoop. Man, blurry. I'm not gonna allow that. Give us a like and a subscribe and do your part for these guys, okay? Just takes a little bit, it's worth the effort. Have a great day. Dude, it's creepy.